driving here <clears throat> that since we spoke about this topic a while ago and so many people asked me because it was in the news people ask me, you know, what does the Torah say when you imprison someone for 30 years for no reason? 30 years for no reason. So, you know, the first thing I want to explain something which I, I, I'm not familiar with the with the <coughs> court system, criminal court system, but I want to tell you something very interesting. The Gemara says you cannot trust a person's tvias ein. You know what tvias ein means? When you say you recognize someone, you can't trust them unless he's a big Talmud Chacham, that's number one. Second, he's a Talmud Chacham who never lies. Uh, we're talking about white lies, not talking about lies. We're talking about type. He never lies about anything. That means he only lies the Gemara said for three things. One thing he lies that you ask him, do you know this Masechta? He doesn't want to be, he doesn't he wants to be humble, says, I don't know. Another thing, the Gemara says when, uh, uh, when he was, uh, as someone, you know, uh, uh, invited him and he was a good, there's uh, a uh, no, was a, the guest house was a good guest time. They made him comfortable. And the, and the, uh, the host was a great host. He doesn't want to tell people they sh- shouldn't take advantage of the host. Third thing the mother says, they ask him, you know, were well, you together with your wife? Something that the people are nosy, but sneeze, he doesn't say. Otherwise, he never, never lies. You know, when people tell me they never lie, I tell them that's the first lie you just said. <laughs> I mean, he never lies. I mean, you have to be a big tzaddik not to lie. Now, so, and then when it says you cannot trust a guy who says this, you cannot trust him, unless he's a tamut chacham, and he never lies, and t- the many of the shonim hold, it's only on an object, that, 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 uh, uh, on an object, on a shova seveda. The mother talks about Hilchah shova seveda. The mother says, you found an aveda, and I come to you, and I say it's mine. How do you know it's yours? So if I'm a Tamut Chacham, who never lies, and, and we have uh, uh, never, never lies, except these three things, then we trust you for money. Not to put a guy into prison for 30 years. We trust you for money. And Toysus holds, it's only a Tvius Ayin on a Kvius. Kvius uh, means on a, something so many times, not something that the Gemara says itself. The Gemara talks about, I don't want to go into the whole sugya because it depends on the two treats in the Gemara. But, uh, but, ha, but, but out of Simon. Out of Simon, so because why? With all due respect, you know, I, I mean to say with really due respect, all Chinese people look alike to me. Let's face it, you know, let me, we don't, but if I were live in China, everyone looks different. I'm sure everyone is unique, unique. But to us, they all look alike. You know, like, uh, that's how it is. But, uh, you know, um, the, but then everyone is different. How could a person see a, 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 someone, a lady testify, to say that a person raped me and to say this was, they, uh, how to say, a mugshot, they, they, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I say this was him. She saw him for a minute, be under trauma, and, and the say. The Chazal say there is no such a thing. How can you have agents that say that this I'm just saying, so you can't trust them. Mechatei says she's saying the truth. You arrest the guy and such thing. Okay, but that's only talking about you can't trust them for, for certain punishment. You can still trust their words. No. I'm saying it for money. I had a, if I had an object for such a short time, how do, how do you recognize it so short? If I, I, you just bought an item, you could say to you right away, it could be, uh, every item is the same, but if it would be a little different in every item, you just saw it for, for, for a minute and a half, on the trauma, yeah, this is mine. But every person looks so different than someone else. People look different. Yeah, but you see, they don't always consider the... But what is an exception if you know the person? If you know the person, then, then the yes. But the, uh, the, 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 this, uh, uh, so I'm saying there's, there's many exceptions. Oh yeah, right. You know the I know who the person is. I don't. I know the per. Right. That means I know who the rapist is. My neighbor, the 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 the, the, the you know whatever the the, the 
cab driver. I know him, lives in the neighborhood. We see him all the time. You're right. But here, just to... <coughs> so uh, you see, Tvi's Ayin, you can never... Uh, we're talking about Tvi's Ayin when he doesn't know the person he just saw. Like, he's, um, when Yom is right, like, what he's trying to say, I know the guy, I only know you because I've seen your face. Right? That's because I know. But that's called Tvi's Ayin, the Kvi's. That means I know who you are, because I know your face, I know your voice, I know how you walk, you know, there's a many things like that. But if someone saw something for a minute and a half, and trust the guy, you know, but it's interesting that a simon muvrik biyoisa, like DNA, is a proof, because that's a simon muvrik biyoisa, how would you say that in English? A, uh, uh, indisputable acts. One, I, someone told me, it's, I asked someone in Shul, he told me it's one out of 250 million. It's getting better and better with the... the, wow. the they're, they're not the same. It's getting better and better. Yeah, but it's getting very rare that uh, uh, it's getting better and better. So let's say now you told me it's one of 200 million. It depends. depends what they collect, you mean? It depends how much you collect. Uh huh. So okay. It can be, I've had one in 10 trillion. All right. So. I've had one in uh, a million. So there's. Uh -huh. there's okay, so but that, you have to know this, uh, that is the Matanaguna. Nets is all the and uh, World Trade Center. There were matter many of the gunas this way. You know, the many of the, the you know, there was nothing but DNA bone p pieces that they found and uh, the matter the guna. So that's number one. Number one. You know, that means you, you can just arrest a guy because uh, you know I you know uh, this way. Is in other words, the concept of a mock shot and a defined by a pidin is not a is not a good thing. Hello. But it's a I have to know who Reuven is, not to know who Reuven oh, Of course not. Maybe he was a goy. You would ask the Kasha. Maybe he was a goy. But what it other, says? There's other circumstances. For, if, if, for example, there's other evidence that points that Reuven killed Shimon. And they say, I saw that. He cannot, we can never punish a person with, uh, with, with such evidence, you know, maybe weak evidence. Oh, that that's true. That that, that, that that we have we spoke about it. That, that we spoke about this. That you cannot. Bezin doesn't kill someone on such aides, but Bezin will put him to prison. That's true. Bezin. That's the second part. We spoke about this. Who is the jurors? Who are the judges? It's twenty-three of of the Sanhedrin. Twenty-three, not people off the street. Well, you know, not not because the people off the street don't think. I sat, in, 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 I, wasn't a point, uh, I wasn't elected, but I sat there a whole day. I want to see my next door. Next to me sat a guy who was an engineer. He, yeah, you know, I, was, I was trying to see if he knows to look at things in different ways. He, he was, uh, you know, I, I have a law professor who I helped to write a thesis about um, if there's such a thing in the Toyota stress-related work. You know, she had to write for her uh, school. So I asked her once, to, you know, tell she was uh, in a, she doctor wanted to be in the juror to able to explain. Uh, so she said that uh, Mr. Vasa mentioned, you know, he say it, it, it was once a black for black, I and mean, it's a public knowledge that he wouldn't say that there was everything in the hundred, there was nothing he argued in the in the jury room that that he said maybe not right. He wouldn't. It's my sort of my brother, and I no, 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 no. In Yiddish, we call it ipcha mistavra. And you know what it means? If you say green, I say red. That's how you know what I mean. Who sat in the jury? He said Tamir Chomim, who know how to think for themselves. You know, I, I was in bed, unfortunately, the last three days with the flu. So I usually don't follow the, 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 the news, but I was in such pain with the flu. So this story happened in. Um, uh, in Tucson, so first the blame, right away everyone jumped the blame because uh, and then they are driving here, I hear the, the, just the headline news that it's not nothing to do with rhetoric, like, I don't know my English so well, the rhetoric because uh, people don't think for themselves. One guy says something, everyone copies them. No one, you know, the, the, what Toyota taught every person, question, we are taught in Toyota, so you said, so what he said, prove what he said. Show me what he said. This is this is every Shiva who goes to Yeshiva. The, the Gemara says, Gemara says Akasha. I challenge it. You know, this is the whole Talmud is based 
you said something, I want to challenge you. I'm Echatesim. Who says you're right? You know, prove it and show it to me. You're not because it sounds right, it feels right, it's a feel, you know, not with a thought. So the Sanhedrin sat, and they were the ones who condemned someone to death or put him into prison for, for who knows why. Not people who are, you know, like, uh, who get carried away with emotions. Someone told me how to be in the jury, so they asked him, did he ever smoke pot? So I asked him, why did they ask me? He said, they want to know if I smoke pot, he was going to let me be in the jury. <laughs> I, didn't know, I didn't think about that. But because... You, 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 Mavata. You, Mr. Lancer Shaggitz. You know, you know, you are. Uh, you, you're down to two, and you know, you're, you're not such a tzaddik. So imagine this is how the the, the lawyer cho chooses the jury. The, the system's a little different, Rabbi. I need to explain to you two things. Two things I want to say. One, the judge always decides what a person gets punished, not the jury. The jury just says, "Did it? Did he do it?" He's going to say, "I'm not the judge." The jury did decide. The jury used to decide, but they took away from the right. That's practical. The jury doesn't decide what happened to the person. And the other thing is that we won't file a case unless the prosecutor won't prosecute a case unless what we call corroborating evidence. There has to be another piece of evidence to tell us that this person did. <coughs> okay. And one of those being that one of those being that I recognize the person. I know the person. So that, that actually is Yeah, but 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 he ex people explained to me, Shabbos, and the guy visited me explained to me. That, but in a secular world, they're challenging it now. That seeing someone a minute and a half being t the traumatized, she could. That's what happened in this case. She was this lady uh, picked him out on a mugshot. You know, they picked this picture out. That yeah, it was him. Didn't, didn't know him like you know. Wasn't that I knew him for twenty years or, you know. Oh, that's now recently. You mean? No, no, it's just oh, always. Uh -huh. You won't prosecute if that's the only evidence. It's just one person saying that's the mm -hmm. two people. Him and the victim. Right, right. It has to be him plus something. You see, and the Torah says the victim is never an animal. Yeah, but what? The yeah. victim is never, never an animal. If the guy was the one who did it, you know, you're gonna have. Yeah, they can't even criminate. And I said there is cases. I don't want to go to whole sugya palgi in the beater, but normally. You know, it has to be not. <clears throat> in the other case, what is called someone is crazy. Sanity. Sanity. See, the, you know, uh, it could be insane people know from right from wrong. I don't know. I'm not a psychiatrist, and I know, and there's so many different variations of people, not well. <laughs> it's amazing, unfortunately. And, and it's a real illness. But the Torah says a shaita is part of what he does. So his show, his, a shoyte, and a shoyte doesn't have to mean that he's a schizophrenic or, or distorts reality like Nebuchadnezzar it, it is it, A shoyte means, the Muda says in Sechtes Chagiga, he loses how long the basic food is. He has Mishigasen, major. You know, we all have small Mishigasen. He has major Mishigasen. Sleeps in the cemetery. Sleeps in the cemetery. Sleeps in the cemetery. He loses. He always loses everything. One of those people, or he dafke walks around with torn clothing. You know, this is at Michigas. You know what I mean? But it, that, that means he could be very intelligent. You know, I have a guy who, who used to come into the kail years ago. Who used to come to my shir. Wow. You know what I mean? But he was crazy. You know, there's nothing to talk about. He used to not. He had. He was rich. He had, he got a big yerusha from his father. Father was a doctor. He and his sister yeah, he didn't want to use the money. He would sleep on the benches in the park, and uh, and this is uh, and if still in love with his first girlfriend, who's married, who has uh, already children, and trying to convince her through his telepathy that she should come back to him. That's what he told me. I'm telling you. Uh, he's, uh, I've been saying, but he was an intelligent guy. You, could, you talk to him. If you don't see who he is, you talk to him. You think he's an intelligent person. So the Torah calls him a shaita. Now it doesn't mean. A shaita like this should not be in prison. Because you put him into prison, not because he deserved prison, because he's going to do it again. You know what I mean? That, that's, that's a. And the prison, it seems from, from the, the RIs, the RIs are not really big, but the prison, the p people didn't get a free, free hotel. I went to visit people in the prisons. He had to pay for his, uh, the family, there's a the RI from the Sefta, to pay for his food and board. Otherwise, you, if you can't pay, you, you die in hunger. 
Either you pay for it or someone should pay for you. I have to, I have to pay my paycheck. Who, where does my paycheck go? For all the hilarious to be fed in the prisons. That's what happens. They should work, and if they don't work, they should die from hunger. They deserve, I mean, but you know, we, have, we only could do this, not do this, because we're a rich country, we have a lot of money. When poverty was that way, these criminals lived in mamish and uh, rat holes. Uh, I'm, I'm explaining how, you know, when the person is, we don't have a title, they don't know how to look at things the right way. But I'm really focusing, a shoite has a din, a person's shoite is a, it's part of it, a pigyosam ro. If a shoite breaks something, or a cotton breaks something, you know, that happens all the time. I just was called by Rebbe in Yeshiva. A child threw a, a ball and broke it. Uh, I hope it wasn't a Chabad. No, no, no. no. So an anonymous may call me. <laughs> Got an arm. I always tell people, don't tell me which school you're calling from. <laughs> Someone call What's me. A, a, a child uh, broke up as a fancy glass in the school. Huge, uh, uh, something very expensive, not just a simple glass, something, I don't know exactly. And I said, I said it was under my mitzvah. Figure some of The school could say, next year we don't take him back unless you pay for the window. You know, you could tell the father, you have a right to do it next year, but this year you can't, you can't take the child out. The father refuses to pay. What did you say? I don't know, I, do want, I didn't ask the details. But, 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 uh, but isn't this the right thing to do that the parents should pay? But you can't be the high of the parents. You can't be in the high of the can you take with the court? No. 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 Is there a I mean, take them to no. a, a secular court. No, of course not. To take someone to secular court, you owe a law and the Torah. Unless Bezna gives you permission. Unless he, the other person was called to Bezna and he refuses to come. But it's not like a, 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 like a Derek Heretz, I should say. No, but there's, there's, there's no appeal. No, there's no. Derek Heretz is very hard to say. He, the child did it. Parents are not obligated. At 13, he's, he's now Derek Heretz. What happened? Which age does Derek Heretz stop? If he's 12. Yeah, I'm just saying, but even according to the person, Derek Heretz, when does Derek Heretz stop? So the, the American government decided 18 is an adult. Yeah. The Torah told us it's 13 is an oh, adult. Parents, yeah, I'm just saying, there, I mean, there's, the Torah says he's potter, he's potter. I wish people would be kind when they're obligated to pay to pay. Not, uh, you know, most people don't like to pay when they really have to pay. Yeah. Okay. So someone if he was 13, then he would have to pay? Yes, I had, I had uh, someone, I think, your age, your classmate, or a year younger than you, Terry Sanders, he was 15 years old, uh, 13 years old, and uh, was on one day off, and it was on one of these fancy big streets, and uh, he decided that he and his friend, his parents, the rich parents were not home, and he says, I know how to drive. So they got into the car, and the, the car was in reverse, and he thought it was going to push the pedal to go forward, and he just went into a car across the street, another high machine Jaguar, brand new Jaguar. <laughs> so uh, the guy wanted him to pay. And, you know, and of course, it's not the money. Principal became to me, you know, I love that. So I said to him, you can't ask the father. You can't ask the father. You have to, the, the boy. Because his father was a clay and uh, and it was the clay Kurdish son who said, I know how to drive. So what happened was, I said, you can't ask him to pay. I says, but he becomes uh, an adult, he starts working, he has to pay you. Oh, the debt is obligated as one Yeah, whatever the money has to pay. Mm -hmm. but, but, but the debt is obligated. He was 30. Under mitzvah, 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 mitzvah is no chiv. If you ask a derecheretz, if I'm not mistaken, the remorse says, oh, the remorse says, maybe the author brings it down over here, it says, of derecheretz, when he gets an adult, you should pay. He only brings a look in page two face sum of base. Two face sum of base. Oh you don't you don't have it. You have it. You have your print has it. Two fresh they don't have the numbers. It's two fresh sum of base. It says over here that he only he sends you Khoshmish, but Khoshmish says that uh, uh, that a cheretz he should, uh, uh, he should, uh, minor, when he becomes an adult, he should do tshuva if he did big averes, he hit someone when he was young, he should do tshuva, and it says you should, 
I almost sure it says he should pay something, you know, the old he should show remorse and pay. And the child gets it. See, but it's the child's responsibility. That's not the, you know, the child doesn't, you know, so I'm telling you. What did you just say? Well, it depends how cotton he is. That's what that. A child is totally three years old, doesn't know what he was doing. You have, you have children. You know, two, three year old don't know what they're doing. Six, seven year old knows what they're doing already. Nine more, ten. So it depends. He knows what he was doing, but uh, still childish. That's what we're talking about. So he's not talking about the. Like, my, my, I remember as a child, the rabbi told me that if you at the 12 years old, that more say that you're ever going to have in your whole life. <laughs> Rebbe gave me a psak, you know, I was arguing with him. So I was 12 years old, and he tells me, Vegas, you had more say 12 years old than you ever going to have in your life, which is true. But, you know, that it's exactly the cause of under bar mitzvah, is not one of the other bar mitzvahs, and not one of the other. So the 12-year-old, if he has money that's his, does he have to pay it after? No, he's, he's not obligated, no, until he becomes an adult. After, after bar mitzvah. So he's never hired legally to pay, he only has the responsibility. Responsible, not a chayiv. It's not a chayiv. It's 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 a chaylik of tshuva. The loshna. I'm almost sure Chacham Mishpah says it's chaylik of doing tshuva. So the parents are never responsible for the child's actions. They're completely independent. They say once the kid burns, he's responsible. Oh, that's for sure. That's, he's he is responsible. But it doesn't mean the yeshiva has to take him in. You know, I get calls all the time. The Shiva doesn't want to take in. I once even had the Chabad pen beg me to call. I knew when, when a, someone calls me, speak to Yeshiva, you know, take him in. It's not because of money. Every Yeshiva knows the never the people don't want. So, you know, I just, okay, I'll speak to, to, to the. Obviously, the child was a terror. You know, just a terror. So they're not obligated. See, if the, you know, I'm going to explain something. People don't know this. See, if a if it's a community school that's paid from the community tax, like in Europe it was, then you have to take him in. Today it's a private school. Even Chabad is a private school. You know, I mean, now you uh, you know the politics in Chabad better than I know what goes on. If he doesn't want to take someone into the school, he, he doesn't allow him to get into school. Yeah, I'm just saying. But because he fundraises the money. It, it, it gives it the difference. That's why I don't want the politics and I don't want people to call me because, you know, the truth is if you take money from the government, you have to take everyone to the school. You can't say I don't want to start going to the school. You know, but you know the story, uh, I forgot the city it was. And, uh, that's why I have a hard time living at school. There many things don't make sense to me. You take money from the government, you got to, you know, this is, uh, you have to take everyone to the school. You know, it doesn't, that's a din It's not, it's, I'm not talking politics. It's a din. If the, it's a community school, yeah. The problem. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 no, the problem is like this. When it is a, a, someone raises money for the school, that's not a community school. People just get angry. The guy claims it's a community school, but it's not. The bottom line is every school today, even Tari Samas or Chabad, there is a few people who want to send fish to raise the money. Every school, I'm sure. I don't know how Chabad, but I know Tari Samas. I don't know. It is a hard job. And there are real people, it's amazing, who the wealthy people go out the way and to raise money. So it's not, it's not that they, you know, the, you know, can't come say that uh, they're obligated to take you in. I mean, there was a school, the one child was, one child called the cops on the Rebbe. The Rebbe hit him. So the Rebbe said to the school, if you don't kick him out, you remember, uh, no, younger than you, 37, do you remember the story? So, the, 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 uh, and the whole community said, you better kick out the child from the school. And there was a parent behind who was a, a powerful parent. And they did kick him out. So also they, they came to me, how could you kick out a boy? It's not a private school. It's, it's a private school, it's not a, a community school. That the school has a right to kick him out. Let the father find him someone to tutor. Well, the distinction that you're making, whether it's a new in Europe it, No, if it's a... If it's, no, I'm explaining. If it's a community school, the community is obligated to educate. There's a chiv of a yeshiv. You lived in Europe. In, 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 it wasn't so, a light, a light in Europe. 
there were many small communities who didn't have it. And, and I think there's, the Alter Rebbe, there's a letter about that to Machazik, they should make sure the Talmud Torah is going. This was a problem, started to fall apart many places in Europe because many, it was spread out into other communities. But it was in, in Hungary. Every Rob had an obligation to get the boys together, to make a school, and to teach everyone. There was the community paid for it, and they raised money, and the Shulchan Aruch talks about it. Everyone. The rich people, what they did, they hired the private Rebbe, so they could do that. You know, the, my Shver's father, my Shver's father of Shulam, was a private rabbi for rich children. It was a big Talmud Chochem, and a few rich people who hired them, and to, to make a private yeshiva for, for, for these boys. They didn't want to, okay? But if you're rich, you live in a big house, you're rich. You live, go to a better school. That, you know, that's uh, it was, but you didn't go to the public school. Otherwise, like a public school, which uh, wasn't the best rabbis, because you didn't get the best pay. But if it's a private school like today, they have a right to throw a child out of a, a school. You can't say, now what is he going to do? That's not the school's problem. The father came to me, what is the child going to do now for him? For him? So he says, it's not the school's problem, it's your problem. <coughs> or it's everyone's problem, you know, when, when, when you don't have a community school. <coughs> It's just a little bit of English semantics. That's the right one. Listen, Yankee, this is just semantic talk. Why? The bottom line is there's one guy who's raising the money. They didn't come to me to raise money for Chabad school, right? They didn't come to, um, to anyone. They, 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 they go to non-Chabad rich people, right? They go to my, to my community, they all come, they come. It is a, the responsibility lies on one person to raise the money. And so he, you, you, have, you, have, you only have a claim against him claiming that he represents all the Chabad. You have a, that's your claim. He misrepresents, but the bottom line is not a community school. It, he is responsible. He does a, uh, it's a very hard job to raise money. You don't have to like the guy who raises money, but it is a very, very, very hard job, and it's a very difficult <laughs> job to raise money, and, uh, and um, that's why it's not a community school. If a non-Chabad wants to come in, yeah, and he, wa you know, he wants to uh, uh, teach uh, uh, against Chabad Chassidus, whatever, I don't know what goes on there, you know, he doesn't have to take him in. He doesn't. What was the reason in Lakewood they said the schools can't open because yeah, that's the exactly. Romans didn't have a spot or something like that? That's not halacha. Ah. It's not halacha. So, so halacha means they could have opened. Yeah. But the Nasperio said not to no, open no. the thing. There was, uh, that's very good, Marshall. But like, uh, like when there was a story where the girls, uh, the, the didn't, there were girls who fell out through the cracks because every school comp, comp, um, I say in English, competes to have the best students, which is wrong. That's what the Gemara says very clearly. It's very wrong. I, I you know, but the, the get the best students, and a few girls who fell out, so there, no school wanted to take them in. Children from broken homes, troubled children, you know, and halacha, and really halacha. I hope Lake would not be angry. Halacha. It's a, I, I raise the money. It's my, I'm raising money for the school. It's not, it's not, it's not, um, you know, if I open a private school in my house, do I have to take in every girl? No. But that's the way to hell. What, do you, what are these parents going to do with these girls now? So they wanted each school to take one girl in. You know, it says a Shulchan Aruch. Yeah, it makes sense. That is, a community has a right to enforce that as a helpless community thing. Problem is, you know, that's a separate problem. Does like without din community? There's, we learn, remember when the Chayshim Mishpat, you know, said in the beginning, the, the Shiva to eat have a right to implicate things which doesn't look so right for to, to for the privacy. If, if they would have Shiva to eat, they could implicate, uh, implement, uh, um, in, uh, implement such things. And the same thing goes for a shul. We spoke about the right to keep the shul. You're right. It's not. It's a private shul. Can't kick a guy out. But if a shul is a non-profit and it comes under the dominant entity of a non-profit, how could it be claiming that it's like a private thing? But it is a private thing. But so it, it creates this like non-profit. That non-profit is for the tax purposes, but the bottom line is 
there is uh, there is someone who's working hard to raise money for the school. It's not that's not the community. Let see people losing uh, uh, how it used to be. It used to be a community. See, we live in big cities. We lost this uh, thing. People used to live in shtetl, um, villages. villages. Uh, my, my mother comes from a village. I found out the village was 18,000 people, but it was called a village. So, you know, they, the whole village got together, they built two shuls. The two shuls, right? So, you know, that was built from the, everyone's money. It wasn't one person went and said, I'm building a shul, I'm the Chabad rabbi here, and this is the Chabad house that I'm building, and I'm raising money, and I'm going to, you know, do what I want. It wasn't that way. You know, everyone gave money because this, we all need a shoe. We all living here need a shoe. If you, then it was, okay, but if it's one person living in, in a place, there's plenty of shoes, there's plenty of places to go, but I want to have a, such a shoe. And I am, I'll get people to that one. That's not so simple. It's not, there's a, the other one to claim it, it is becomes community, but many claim it's not a community. There's a whole, that was Divir Chaim, that was called the Shtibel. I don't know, it's a long, long Erichus out of work. But many hold it, but a school is it that way. School where one, where the, the responsibility raising the money is on a few people who they have a right to take in whoever they want. They don't take in their own one. So many, many members of communities support a show that depends how it was built. It was built, the community built the shul and took a rabbi, or the rabbi opened the house and built the shul. That's the question. Why would that make a difference? Again, if, if 10 people decide to make a show, then it grows to 200 people. So that means I guess 10, no, no, 10 people decide to make sure we need a shoe here. Then we need a shoe in this neighborhood. This neighborhood doesn't have a shoe. So you need a shoe in this neighborhood. So in the, uh, there's an obligation to have a shoe. So then if, if it's, I don't know how the shoe started, so I'm just giving a motion, but if it started with the members of the shoe, then it's, it's a community shoe for the people who started the shoe over here. That's, that, that's true. That's very hard to answer that question. That's a very difficult to answer the question. And that's 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 the way it was. Let's just say 10 people got together, put in money, and, 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 and hired a rabbi and said he doesn't have to fundraise, he's going to sit in hot laps. And, 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 and that, let's just say that was the shul, right? So uh, are you saying that down the line, if more people come, then you could call it a community shul? Depends why it was right? built. See, in the good old days, a shul was built as a See, we live, see, things turn upside down nowadays. We don't, no one was able to build a shul. It didn't exist this way. No one could open a shul and then start getting members. It didn't, it couldn't exist. People moved into a community. There's a Dinah Shekh Nordic community, has to have a shul, has to have a big mikveh. <clears throat> I went to Oakland to check a mikveh. That community, Oakland, there is no mikveh. I was last week, one, one day there. So to make sure the, 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 the you know there's a problem with the mikveh, make sure it's okay to mikveh. And I happen to see the Chabad mikveh, which is in Berkeley, Berkeley right? So, but uh, in Oakland has no mikveh. Imagine there's an obligation. They just built one. There's an obligation. There's, there's Jews in Oakland. Yeah, there are many. There are a lot of Sfarad Jews in the from from us. How far is the walking distance? Five o. Moshe says it's a chiyah. The people of you guys, you're living here. I want to say something. Uh, 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 it, it, it could be nice and put the name there. <coughs> no, there are people. You should know there are people in my community. It comes to the ladies and if they give money, one, two, three. Without a question, I saw a guy write a check, fifty thousand dollars for ladies and just like that. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I just want to say something. Uh, <clears throat> no, but that depends. If people do not go to the mikveh because it's not Friday night, they don't go because it's too far. Mosh. Then, then you have a chiv to build. The Moshe has a whole shuv about it. Moshe says it's before a shuv. Right. Moshe has a whole shuv about that. Has the obligation though? I mean, is it just the people who go to the local shul, or is it the people who? The work? people who live right here. here. The people living here, who yeah. the, the, let me tell you what happened, yeah. where the Chu was written. The Chu was written in Muncie. Once upon a time, Muncie was a hick town. There was no ladies' mikveh in Muncie. It was in Spring Valley. So the, and they had a machoikas, they needed a new shoe, and they, and they needed a mikveh. The Moshe says they're obligated first to build a mikveh, because they were saying, why do we need a mikveh? It's only problem is Friday night. 
If you can't go Friday, because those days, you know, everyone needed a car. If you can use the mikvah Friday night, then the community needs a mikvah. I hope I didn't cause problems. Well, does the mikvah become the property of the people or the, the property of whoever owns the land? That the you know, the, the community is obligated to raise money and to build a mikvah so the, pe- the woman who need to go Friday night to the mikvah are able to go Friday night to the mikvah. And many people don't know this, and Chabad people always ask me this, don't know this, that some, which it's a mistake in Allah, but people, in Chabad people explain it's not Allah, it's a chassid, it's a which doesn't make sense. You know, I learned Hilchim Spurs very well, because you know, uh, there's two types of uh, uh, ways to make sure the mikveh is either barag or bar, or bar, both are good up the Question is preference. Do I wear a do I listen to the mic? Is such a mic or the last mic? The question, both are question on Yeah, yeah the trade, they make both. They make both. The, the, but the but trade out mikhas, both people don't know. But I'm just saying, but some people ask me, how about if a person asked me, a lady called me up once and says, you know, her husband says, don't want to go. And I, you know, she wanted to know. I says, of course. Even go, she, I don't know where they were living in. Uh, I mean, the, it, oh, it, right. Yeah, well, it's ignorance. Because they don't have the Chabad Mikra. I'm just explaining. It's a Maratzis. People don't know. I'm just uh, explaining that people don't know the halacha. Okay. Yeah, before that. Uh, yeah, the more recent uh, more recent uh, One day I'll teach the halachas mechas. If someone would make the Tanya's mikveh, we'll call him a uh, who knows what. The Tanya had a mikveh with such coolness, it's amazing. Because he held it was more important to make a mikveh more comfortable and yeah, heat it. Than, uh, yeah, and that, that means uh, I'll, we'll get one day. Uh, I'm going to go, go to the first hour. We'll the mikveh soon. We're on the way. And then we'll, we'll give a yeah, I mean, I, I, I was a mikvah uh, guy. Did a wonderful job. Saw the sheet. He built it all on his own. He decided he couldn't raise money. He's a wealthy guy. Built it in his backyard, a huge backyard, acres of land, in the back backyard. You know, you don't see anyone coming, and he built a ladies' mikvah with both chumras. He had someone come to make him every chumra in the book. <laughs> His name is <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Let's get back to the Shabbos. <clears throat> okay, uh, <clears throat> we learned last week a very important halacha, and I know you people were shocked. So I want to repeat this halacha. What do you say? What did you say? Soda bottle. Branch, what was the branch? The branch, the branch, branch, branch. So let me, let me, what did you say? Oh, so so let, uh, let me show you the halacha again. I want to show you two other places in the Rav brings it. Oh, not, you don't have a copy from that. Okay, let's start from this. Zemoira, Zemoira is a, uh, <coughs> a vine. She has Barosha Kminius. The end has a uh, hook. And Mizlik. A hook. Mizlik is a hook. Sheru Litlus by Dli. Lemalus boy. So I have a long hook. And the hook is made, it has a long, a long piece of wood. Zemoira is a vine. And uh, you know the good old days. Uh, you know we we picked up anything that could work. So he had a long vine, and he wanted to use the vine to have an pail. He didn't tie it to the pail. He just had a vine. The vine was going to hold the pail. Little by little, even though you thought about erev shabbos lemalas, but usal lemalas, but eli kemoisik shurad li melerev shabbos unless it was tied to the to the. Uh, <coughs> I say it in English. Bucket there, Shabbos. Gzeri shemti aricha. Maybe a little too long. Big tameni mitoch shiracha v'noicha liktam. It's very easy to break. The nimtza, the saken, keli, the Shabbos. 
You hear what the Rav says? This is a Gemara. The Gemara says, if I have a long vine and I just cut off a piece because it's more comfortable, I'm chayev chatos. It's not, you know, like it's chile, but you have chatos. So Bamela, if I have a long vine, that even though I had a mind to use tomorrow to hold the bucket, if I didn't tie it, I must tie it. Do not tie it because it, it, do not use it in Shabbos because I might come use it Shabbos and break of a piece that's a little uncomfortable. And if I do it, I'm chayv chatos. No, it, yeah, yeah, but it's tied, not worry. Once you tie it, Rashi explains. Once you tie it, you saw a little, if you have to tie it in Shabbos, you already figured out the right size. We're not worried about to do it. But if not, you might get frustrated and, you know, <laughs> it's too big. And, you know, before thinking too much, you break off a piece of your chayv chatos. So you're taking a vine that's too long and, 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 and tying it, you chayv chatos. This is a very, very important halacha. So I explained last week so if you're you know, uh, taking off a cap of a soda bottle and you're going to keep it as a cap, you just broke the top from the bottom and created a nice soda cap, which is going to last as long as you have the soda in the bottle. Not the bottle. The bottle was a bottle before that. If you ever saw pictures, and it comes the, it comes the bottle, soda bottle. You ever saw pictures how they, they do it, and it's a soda. But bottle is a bottle, comes a cap, and then the machine just closes it, it heats with heat the element closes it. So right now, it's not a comfortable cap. It's like the vine. You could take it off. People always tell me, but I could take it, take it off, but it's not a comfortable cap. And it's much better broken. It's like over here. It's a little more comfortable breaking off. So doing that on Shabbos is a Issa Daraisa. I'm just, I know people argue. I never understood the other argument. Yeah, I will get there. I wanted to quote that. Yeah, but that's also. I was going to quote that too, but this is also the same thing. But then apparently Rabbi Mahdi Yosef says that it's mutter. Why? Does it say why? Also the. Why is it mutter? Does it say why? But Rabbi Yosef, but why does it say it's okay? I don't know that. I don't understand that argument. Because they don't bring it to the point out that it's, it serves as a bottle cap to the bottle that is covered. I, it's, but it's that they don't answer the question. <laughs> I have a clear example here. I have a Zmaida. I heard this argument all the time. It, I don't know what it means. This, it's not made to cover another bottle. So by you breaking it off, you're actually not making it a better cap for covering this bottle. Of course I am. It's already covering no, the cap. No, really, it's really not well. comfortable. If you take the whole thing off, it's not going to be comfortable. Take the whole thing off. You see, it's not going to be take comfortable. Now that you broke it, it's a geschmack a cap cover. No, for making it functional to even more functional... I have, a lo- I have a long vine. It's a long vine. It, it's, it's, it's functional to, to drop a bucket. It just, just it's a little more comfortable. <laughs> Yeah, that because it is functional. It's, uh, it, it's not you're not cutting something. We'll see later. You got to cut. You got to break something. Get what off? Yeah, but it's not a good cap. No, 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 no. You see the vine over here. Yeah, I'm not right. arguing with that. By you cracking it off, you're not making it a better cap for closing it. It just enables you to put it back on. I, 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 I no, I, I got okay. a much more comfortable cap. I got a much comfortable uh, rope. Like, like I have a long piece of vine, and it was very uncomfortable, a little too long, and I made it more comfortable. What's so bad with something's long? It's just uncomfortable. That's right. it. Well, okay, that's that's why I was saying that whole debate that they had was about the halakha of the splint, and no one mentioned this halakha. Yeah, it's, 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 it
also don't know. <laughs> because there, there's the Din Makaba path is something that's created and you finish the last thing to make it into final cap. That's awesome. I, I, all these arguments are always here. It doesn't make sense. I don't like to, I don't like to have humras. I wish I could be Mako. Uh, to me, it just doesn't make sense. I just don't, I don't, don't see what they're trying to argue. Would this be the same thing like a snapple follow the class thing with a snapple hook? No. That the Rav has a big Kiddush. The Rav says, uh, next week, please remind me, I want to copy all those uh, alochas. Okay. Uh, the Rav has a famous Kiddush, which all the Chorim quote, that he says there is no Kareya on leather. So according to the Rav, there is no Kareya on plastic. That's number one. So Mamela, if I have the Snapple bottle, has a cap, which is a cap, you're not breaking anything, right? But there's a plastic that you rip open, right? Uh, I think that's a Snapple works, right? There's a... Yeah, so the ripping the plastic, the Rav says, is not called anything. You're not creating anything, you just rip the plastic. The Shulchan Rav Shitta is that when it's Kreya, Kreya is only, we have threads made into a cloth, and now you're ripping the, the cloth. You understand? That's called Kreya. But if it's leather, there was one piece, or today plastic, which is one piece, so the mele, you're ripping it, there is no... Why not buy toilet paper that's one piece? So paper is the same thing? Well, that, no. No, I'll explain you. Explain in a minute why. In a minute. So cr- r- r- ripping that uh, uh, top is okay. Are you understand? Opening... Unless it's even, yeah, I'll explain even that is now, yeah, you shouldn't cut it there, that's, we'll get to, uh, you're right, but let me just focus on his question. Cutting, it open is okay. So now the cap over there is a regular cap. They just make it, um, how's it called? Um, you're not breaking, you're not breaking. Uh, no breaking, just make it vacuum tight. That's, uh, that's all to do it, to keep it safe. So you're not open, you're not open, uh, what's his name, very, uh, a snapper bottle. The soda bottle, same thing, you could open the bottle, not just break the seal, right. not open the bottle all the way. That you're right, but isn't it more comfortable after you broke the seal and you became a more comfortable cap? Yes. The same thing with a, a vine over here. The vine was a little too long, a little uncomfortable, now I cut it, it became more comfortable. You have cut this. Soda can, you're not open, but you know, I, I want to focus each, it's very confusing. So we'll talk about soda cap after this, because it's every halacha is dependent on another similar shulchan aruch and on other rules. And I find when I when I when I teach this, people get total confused. So let's just focus uh, on the tikkunana. So it says clearly there's a tikkunana. Now it says later. Let me just say about pay. Maybe next week we will see it inside. There's a, another halacha. There's a gemara that talks about a leaf. So I said last week, I told, what do I do at home? I tell the children over to open before Shabbos, and if not, I will have a bunch of caps in the drawer, or a lot of caps. So if they forgot Shabbos to open the soda bottle, they just open and throw it out, because it's not a cave. Remember I explained this last week? If you're not going to use it, you're not called creating a cave. Because if you throw it away, it never was a cave. So then throw it out. So and the question is, but maybe he's going to, if it's chiv chatos, or it's so easy to forget. Let me quote now a, 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 a Gemara. And Allah hopefully will uh, see it again next week. This is important to see well. The, the Gemara talks about, can I take a leaf and create a spout? In the good old days, a wine barrel needed a spout. You know, we didn't have a spout, but today everything is made, you know, so perfect, you know, uh, to the teeth. But those days, it was Heimlich made, you know what I mean? Everyone had to... So you, would t- so you have a piece, you have a, uh, a leaves, leaves, can I twirl it and make it into, uh, into a uh, funnel? So the Gemara says there's two mechlekes. One mandoma says you can't do it because you might take a piece of wood and make it into a funnel. You know, if you might do this, you might do it. Other mandoma says no, there's a problem. If the leaf, if you could, if you could, if you chew by turning a leaf and making the funnel, you did nothing. Nothing had really happened. But what happens if you don't have enough leaf? You might take a vine that's cut off, but not where you're going to cut a, a leaf out of a tree. You might have, a, you know, you la- if I have grapes, you know, young children always ask me, my children were young, how can I take off a grape? And I ripping something off a thing. Yeah, but you all know, once it's ripped off a tree, there's nothing ripping. Once I have a, a ba- uh, you know, I, I try to get Hadassan, a Pirizal, it's in you to make a brochan of Chabad. Does it, Rizal says, the Swadim do it. Uh, and the Besomen says, and the Rizal to smell the summer Friday night. So you'll have to rip off the leaf, you smell it. 
It's a rift of uh, hadas. There's nothing there. So the Gemara says, I'm afraid I'm going to rip off a leaf from that. Now I'll roll it. And if I rip it off for that reason, I'm chayev chatos. Because now I created a temporary spout. It's not a very long-lasting spout because how long can a leaf last for a spout? You know, it gets soaking wet, it gets worn out. So the Gemara says, I shouldn't do this because if I roll it and I make it, then and it's, it's going to be... A, so you see, all I'm doing is creating a spout Temporary spout, it's, it's a chiyav chatos. If, uh, next week we'll see it inside. I'm going to explain that's the base which everyone brings down. So, you know, according to this, it should be awesome. I was curious, I think I only thought about it this morning, does Rabbi Farkush write about this? I don't see in, his, in the sefer that he gave me talks, so he doesn't have in the schemi. Maybe uh, ask around if he... Who's him, himself? Oh, I, don't, I don't know. Ask him himself. Because I asked the Chabad, what? Yeah, ask him, you know, if he should write. Tell him to write, he's a good writer. He writes well. Not, not every Pach he writes very well. Yeah, so tell him to just write what's opinion, why, yes. Because and I, I, I asked the Chabad, no one knows. Let me ask somebody for What, what? Throw it to the garbage. Who said it to you? Throw it again. He throw it away. It's okay. It's in the shul. They do that. They they take him. They throw it away. The guy goes ahead and he he decides to use it. That's okay. That's okay. I let you do that. You threw it away. You couldn't care less. You don't actually have to throw the garbage. You just take it off and you're tossing it away. Yeah, you don't want to need it. Designated bucket. In this thing, it talks about the intention. That if your intention The Neil. Okay. When you open the like soda bottle, the Neil, the Neil, the Neil, the Neil. When you open the oh, soda yeah, bottle, uh, just think. When you yeah. open the soda bottle, yeah. you want to have. A, uh, 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 let's say, let's right. say. You, you want to drink. You're not, you're, you're, you're no, no. But you also drink. want it. If it's a big soda litter, you want to be able to put it away. Let's say you, you know it's not going to be used as this meal. Let's just say. I don't know, you have nine or five children, told, but I don't know how much soda they drink. But let's say you're sitting down at a meal, no soda, no soda Yeah, say, but you're Orange cheating. Orange juice. Orange juice. Orange juice. They have also like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's say orange juice. So you know it's not going to be drunk at this meal. And you, and you want to have able to put it away nice in the freezer. So when you take it off, you have a mind, I'm opening it, and I'm opening it in a way that I would like. I don't have to have a shame, you could catch it, but it's going to but it's obvious that's what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? It's very obvious. I'm taking it off because I want it to drink and put it back on. If you have t- choice of two uh, orange juices, one has a good cap, and one you open the cap, the cap is uh, 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 how do you say? Uh, no good. It's no good. Okay. What would you do? You'd rather buy the other one. You think that you say, well, I'm going to come home. You know, the children are going to drink the orange juice. I need the orange juice. I bought this one. It has a good cap. So I can put it away. I don't want to buy the other one. It doesn't have a good cap. Right? Very simple. So, so it shows you don't have to have, you know, uh, focused attention. Your, your obvious intention is that to have a good cap putting it away. I, I look, I, I, I hate this argument for 20 years. I don't get it. I really don't get it. I mean, I, would look, I, I don't like to look for homeless. I, it only applies to Yeah, the, right, we said that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> so that's what I said. You have a leaf and you roll it. That's why I want to bring the leaf. And I was next week. We'll, um, please remind me. I, um, uh, the leaf. <clears throat> you take a leaf which is cut off, or you do. You, I say you uh, uh, make a circle with the leaf, and you do it. It's not a problem. So you see that, that just because you, you change something in a way, that's not a problem. If you rip a leaf off of a branch, even though there's no kites it's cut off branch, that itself is called a malocha. We'll go back to the soil paper. Yeah, point to the altar that the ripping only means yeah, ripping. But there's another problem. The altar ever said we'll learn a, 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 a copy next week in Portland. There's another aloha. You're right, there is no kreya. But there's a tikkun mona. So Ramel, if I create paper, to use or something. Last week, someone asked silver foil over here. 
So right side is silver foil. So I, I need a piece of silver foil to wrap the kugel. So I cut a silver foil. There is no kreya according to the Alta Rebbe, but uh, they stick a mana. So whenever you cut something, you have to be focused on two things. One thing you got to be focused of kreya. Black is kreya, the Alta Rebbe says, if it's a silver foil, plastic, leather, there's no problem. The second problem is you have to make sure you're not creating a keli with it. So Mamela, if by ripping silver foil you're creating a nice wrapper, it's like a schmacker wrapper. That's also recording toilet paper. You're creating a, 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 a thing that you need. By what? what? But I don't understand what you're saying. That. My intention is to make a spout. And, and it's okay. A cap. My intention is to open it up and have a good cap afterwards. I, t- think to yourself, you have know, children. You got to buy orange juice. And you have two types of orange juice. One, the cap you take off is no good. Your intention is to good orange. You're not even thinking about the cap. You don't, that's what I'm saying. You don't have to. The Nia, the Nia, the Nia. I'm going to explain to you something. You don't have to have the Shem Yichad in mind. The Loch Shabbos doesn't mean. You, you have a subconscious clear intentions. You, if, if, if you do the shopping, your wife does the shopping. <laughs> but you agree that if there'll be two orange juices in the fridge, and one, when you open up the cap, is geschmacker cap you put back in, and one is not so the geschmacker cap, you have no question you'll buy the, the one. You buy 10 cents more, maybe even, for the one with the good cap. If, if it tastes the same. Yeah. Right? Because, uh, why? Because you, need, you, you think about it. You think your children are going to drink it, so I'll, I'll be able to store it. The whole cap, I remember, you, you, you don't remember. You remember they used a different cap? You used to, those caps? You don't remember, too young to remember. The beer ones. The beer ones, right. And, and, uh, and it used to be a beer ones. The soda, you don't remember, the soda used to be like a beer one. Nothing. A leaf is worthless. Yeah, but a leaf is hefker. It's less than a little piece. No, the Hilke Shabbos has nothing to do with the value. I will, I will later learn. It's in Shein, uh, Shein, Yedalet. Yeah, yeah, that's nothing to do. Shein, you know exactly. Uh, exactly. Just rip it open. It's no problem. We'll talk about all these ripping open. Just, you know, by next week, get an answer from him. At least I could quote Chabad Paisik. <laughs> you know, because this is halacha. Uh, unless you study it well, people always are makeup. Once you study well this halacha, yeah, you can mention the leaf also. It says clearly all you do to mention, I'll tell you where it is. Who is this? Yeah, it's the same idea, but it's the same idea. This is a Shini Dalit. Sakin Kli is a told of Makkabah Patish. Let me explain what Sakin Kli comes. There's one of the, the, one of the, the last Molochah, you know, the Mishnah counts Lamates Molochahs. And um, from Azariah Chodeshun, and the last Moloch is one of the last Molochahs is called Makkabah Patish. Makkah Bapatish is Machrikis that is showing you what it means. Rasha learns Makkah Bapatish means that the guy, you, we, uh, but the guy with the patish to, uh, uh, is a, a hammer, is a hammer, and the, when they used to bang with the hammer, it was not like our hammers. The hammer would get a dent too, imagine. 
So they have to fix the hammer each time they were banging. So fixing the, the hammer is also a problem. It's taking money, fixing the hammer. Others learn, no. Others learn that that's, Rasha is right. We agree to Rasha. Others learn the last thing that finishes a keli. The marshal. The Gemara says that you have a, a sweater made and there's, while they were doing it, they were caught into the fabric, was caught in uh, d- different threads of, of dirt. Putting out those dirt, if, if it, is, this is part of doing the thing, it's called Makaba Patish. Or the Gemara says, drawing engravements in a pottery. So a pottery was not a very uh, attractive without that. The people would not buy, you know, it's, it's Blam, how you say it? Blam. So they would uh, engrave something. So engraving is called Makaba Patish. So meaning to say, the last work of what was done. So what they told the Makaba Patish is, which is just, they were talking about it, making a vase, making something. The Makaba is, is making a keli. From a simple thing, taking a leaf, making a keli. Over here, taking a vine, cutting it, and making a keli. So we, over here we're talking about Shin Yidal, if you look it up, and see if Yidal, I'm afraid I might rip off a leaf. Yidal, Shin Yidal, Yidal. I might rip off a leaf and take the leaf and wrap it and, and use it as a spout. And that doing is a Chit Chatas. So whether you're creating a Kaili completely or whether you're just figuring a Kaili, it's the same Israel, right? I mean, right. Right, right, correct, correct. We're creating a keli, fixing a keli is is wrong. So right here, you creating a cap. I, I wish you could convince me. I don't. I have no. I have no. Uh, so if it was established that there is a cap already, but you're just improving a little bit, so that for sure should be taken on. According to everybody, it would be considered taken on. It's like a vine. I have a good vine. I'm just afraid of my. Wondering, is this vine, the other it's a Gemara, it's a Gemara. This is a, a Talmud, ba- as I call it, a Talmud Bavli. <laughs> it's an old Sefer, interesting Sefer called Talmud Bavli. <laughs> Rashi says this, that you, you do, and you notice, Rashi speaks out there, if you look it up, if you, maybe the rabbi will learn with you, look up, it's a tiny Gemara, easy Gemara, Rashi speaks out there, and Rashi brings out, if you take the vine, you cut it off, Rashi says, over there, you have uh, No one argues on that. Because later, if you rip a, 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 a leaf, you also have chathos. So this makes a problem with many things. Many of these today's things, because, you know, my, um, my daughter asked me, and I, I haven't seen it, but she told me there's ice pops that you crack. I didn't understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Children. I have to say, I would like to have to. They're perforated. It's perforated? Yeah. They're like six pops together, and you take one at a time. It's perforated. No, it's a bag. No, it's a bag. It's a bag, separate bags. It, it, but it's separate bags, but they're perforated together. Perforated together, and you rip it, and then you have a good thing to suck the ices. That's no. what I understood. No, 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 no. You're not creating any cave in there. No, but your ice is that thing is useless. You're not creating a clean. You throw that in the garbage. Well, how does it, just show me, describe it to me. How does it look? You have five lollipops, or whatever they're called. And attached. And they're in bags individually. They're in plastic bags individually. And each one of them are connected to each other. You take the bag off, you take the thing away, you throw it away. Well, that's all. That's worse than not. It's nothing wrong. It's like the, that's the, well. It's not. It's not. Not great. Not even. Toilet paper. When you rip it, you make it. You can. Here it's like it's like ripping of a leaf from a, from a tree for use it for nothing to smell it. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, you're not doing anything. You know, I I don't know exactly. Yeah, you're not doing anything. Well, they can't. They can't use the popsicle really without the leaf being created. You're not doing creating a clay. You're just ripping. It's it's like a late, taking a leaf off a thing because I want to smell it. It's more comfortable to smell this way. There's nothing wrong. What about these tea bags that are connected for like that? Two tea bags. See, a tea bag is becomes like a toilet paper. It becomes like you soak it. You know, stand there. It's, it's a whole thing. And after, I, I'm going to ask my children to get me such a. I says, I'll let me look at it. Then. 
Making the Kelly, correct. Right. Right. Should you avoid perforation in general? You should avoid it later because of the problem of machapach. We'll, la- we'll talk about it later. That means there's another. La- 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 you know, let me explain this halacha so you should understand. We're dealing with three halachas. We're dealing with kreya, tekemona, and machapach. Machapach means I'm cutting it to the exact measurements. So when I want to cut something and perforate it, I want an exact measurements because it's kishmak, it's, 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 the, it's the right size. And, uh, so you have to always focus on three different malochas, machatach, kreya, and tikimon. So the Rav says, on paper, there is no machatach, there's no kreya. Then you have to judge, there's no kreya, so that's why I explained to him why the snapples, you're allowed to cut off the plastic. Then you have to judge, there's no kreya, right, but maybe you're creating a cleat. And then once you say you're not created a cleat, then you have to make sure you're not cutting it to the size exactly, perforation. Now that is another big machlekes, and when you hold them plastic, it doesn't apply even though you cut it, perforation. You know, even though you cut it exactly. I'll explain later the whole machlekes next week. What does depends on that? And letters is another problem, you're right? That's a separate, that everyone agrees is a problem. So if, 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 if on, the, on the thing, Often, not always, uh, some of the Pepsis or whatever have it. Uh, okay, even can of grape juice, like the big bottle, that has plastic. If you open that thing, it's carrying a letter. No, no, not, no, not anymore. Not they used to have it that way. Not anymore. Not anymore. They don't have it. They used to. They used to have it. They don't have it anymore. People used to complain to them. They stopped doing it. Yes, 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 yes. They used to do it not long ago, 10 years ago. Not anymore. They used to have letters, yeah, yeah. Well, to tell a guy to open with letters. Yeah, but if it's a shvus to shvus, it's a shavas. No, racing, or only if, uh, uh, racing for not a tzorich of writing later, just for racing, is only a the what? Yeah, but we Ashkenazim, he follows the Mechaber. We Ashkenazim follow the Ramon. So that's true, the Mechaber doesn't make, doesn't, for Mechaber seems it's not a problem. But the Ramon does say it's a problem, we follow the Ramon. So one second, so if I have to open a bottle that's got letters, I should give it to the smart guy who can open it. <laughs> that's a very good question. Uh, are you allowed to do that? That's a very good question. If, 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 if um, the Ikra idea is on, on their side, it's actually Mutter. So th- this is a famous question which uh, at the Kadmoni masquerade, Kadmoni speak about this, where you know there was different minhagim, these people were machmer, and if it, it, uh, I mean there's many chuvas, but the fact is that if you're not a poisik on your own, you just says you know we are machmer, you're mekel. Let me tell you the cute story. There was a famous story in 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 Yerushalayim, where where we Ashkenazim are not soimach on the taste of a goy on te'ima. If you learn taruvis, we Ashkenazim don't trust a goy to taste it with milk and meat. You know, yeah, a bottle of b'shishim. We hold the b'shishim. Svar de ma'asoymach. It was a story where milk splashed into the chon pot. And to be, you know, those days, this is the 30s, in Yerushalayim, hunger, people were dying from hunger. You couldn't just say, mach, again, I'll get rid of the chon. So what happened is... So One second, so just to understand, for me, that it was less than 60. Yeah. Less than so 60. Was, okay, but Ashkenazim... No, 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 no. Oh. It was, no, it, it, was, it was more than 60. Well, more than 60. Meaning to say there was, it was the, the, the amount of milk was not bottled by Shisham. Ah. It was more. So, the, but maybe it doesn't have a taste. So, the, 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 one of the, I think it's the, the Epstein, one of the Gdoyim said, they are pushing the Eitzah. Tell the Svadi, I want to give you part of the Cholmuk, but I have a problem. So, the Svadi will go to a Goy to have a taste. And if he said it's okay, so then he could taste it. And then he say, he, he's Namun for me, and he say it's okay, then I could eat it. A Yiddish man. I eat and a uh, Yiddish comes out. Uh, it's a guy. 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 It's a gu
Yeah, let's see, I told you it was a relate song. <laughs>